I'm going to apologize in advance because this video might be a little bit longer than I would normally do but with good reason there's been a while since the, the last one and uh, quite a lot has changed since then so uh, with the walls on the first floor here we're pretty much done so all the filling has been done I've also sanded uh, somebody said I've been polishing the walls uh, so that we have a nice smooth finish and the priming has been done as well so that we're ready to paint uh, and meanwhile my wife has been busy painting the ceilings it's quite slow going because it's uh, with a silicate based paint it's quite thick and creamy and painting it on with a small roller onto uh, onto this clay plaster that we have in the ceilings uh, that takes a while but the finish is really nice it's an altvice so an old white uh, finish so it's not brilliant just to give it a bit more uh, kind of a old style charm maybe uh, and speaking of clay plaster, I'd also tried my hand on the on the walls. So see these panels that we're looking at here, the brown ones. They were uh, yeah, original clay plaster finish underneath with clay and straw mix. And uh, so I used the same plaster that we used on the ceilings to give a, yeah, a smoother coat on top. It's still a bit rough. Um, I'm trying to decide whether or not we'd use a, a fine clay plaster to give a very smooth finish. Or just leave it as is and uh, well paint it whatever color we decide on yeah so that's that's coming on really well so this is the potential bedroom and uh, so my office in behind is done and uh, yeah our little internal window you notice there's now there's a windowsill on it and uh, so that's something else I've been doing over the past uh, couple of weeks every day creating two new windowsills so we've 30 to make in total I think I've got 13 made already. Uh, so this is using the um, yeah, oak boards that are only 18 millimeters thick. So we're kind of cheating by gluing a strip onto the bottom of the front. Um, so that basically looks a bit thicker. So they've been you know, shaped, rough fit, not fitted finally yet. Uh, so now I just need to sand them and use a, a router or router if you're American to uh, put a slightly rounded um, edge onto them so that's uh, well, it's pretty sharp at the moment <coughs> so yeah and also yeah our friend the electrician <laughs> Sacha has been putting in lights all over the place and we've got working sockets I think that was in the last video and if we come on through to the kitchen windowsill is ready to be made uh, not much has changed here perhaps focus uh, ceilings have been painted of course which really makes the room feel different uh, the sockets have all been well the, the wires are there ready and the uh, yeah the plumbing is finished already to receive taps so the kitchen comes in four weeks I think so we have still have a little bit of time to, uh, to do the tiling on the floor uh, our tiles arrived two weeks ago uh, yeah, I need to lay them out and maybe take some pictures uh, another time, but they're really nice. They're, uh, every tile is completely different, so it's kind of a very organic kind of feel. It's slightly green tones, some of them have blue tones, some of them have brown tones. So uh, yeah, it makes it interesting trying to pick what colors we might paint. But we would like to get these walls painted before, uh, before the kitchen comes in. Uh, and preferably before the tiling is done, so that uh, we can be as messy as we like and not really care. <clears throat> and in the living room, same deal, walls are all done, uh, ready for painting, ceilings have to be done yet, so the uh, silicate based primer has been done on all the clay ceilings of course, so now it's just uh, the painting that has to be done. Uh, the sills, as I say, I'm really quite happy with them, something I made myself and uh, can be proud of and it makes the, the room feel kind of finished, except for the big hole. Uh, so I took the flooring up again, uh, the temporary flooring. You'll see there's some shiny bolts there. And that beam was broken and um, I put off doing something about that for a long time. And um, my, my friend Sacha and his son Dennis came over yesterday with a giant beam. And uh, down in the cellar then we sistered that beam to, the, uh, to this broken one. Which meant that, uh, well now I can finish the floor. And it also means that the there was a post in the cellar supporting that beam and we've been able to remove that so uh yeah it's a bit more spacious not that we're doing anything down there for a while <clears throat> and meanwhile down in the cellar 
an entry door first. Well, we can take a look at the at the big beam. So, uh, originally, where that little nub is on the ground, there was a post there supporting the, the beam. So we've sistered it to the, uh, the the beam going horizontally here, uh, but also assisted uh, it to the beam that it's supporting so it's that is not going to move the rest of the house will probably fall down and that'll still be standing there but uh yeah this cellar we're we're going to leave this for quite a long time the only thing that needs to be done really uh, is to insulate the the ceiling uh, because after the disasters of this area well there's not really much uh, between the cold air of the cellar and the living room so some insulation has to be done there but the big deal down here is that we've got lights and I think the first time that these uh, vaulted cellars probably around 200 years old I'm not really sure um, the first time these have had electricity in them so it's a bit of a temporary fix at the moment uh, still quite a lot of work to do in there but yeah it's great to see that and we've got these uh, present smelters so uh, yeah it's not just a movement sensor, it's a presence sensor, so that if, you're, if you stop moving, the light will stay on. I guess if you're dead and cool down, it'll go off. And uh, this will be the beer cellar. So the only thing we've done here is we took out the, uh, the kind of newish concrete floor that was here, which is really bad. And um, yeah, I'm gonna do a nice job down there with some more, uh, it's a breathable material, limecrete and clay pellets underneath. Uh, to create kind of a buffer for any groundwater that might be there but this yeah that'll be the beer cellar and we come around uh, lights please there we go uh and uh wow that's really blue light <coughs> so another temporary fix but uh, it's nice to be able to come down here at night because the winter is coming days are short and to be able to find tools and material and that's stumbling around with my with my phone or something like that yeah, so it's coming on. Uh, main things to do next is to, yeah, pick colours and stuff. And I need to order flooring, so at least I know now what kind of flooring we want. Oak floorboards, I know what kind of finish. I'm going to get them uh, kind of bought pre-treated and everything so we don't need to do any oiling or anything like that. So uh, at least we'll have them. And I also need to start thinking about doors. Yeah, we're getting there.